Hello, this is Zach Brown. I'm a tech support with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to save your part models or assembly models to a 3D PDF. And to do this, we're going to go to the File menu, click Save As, and in your Save As dialog box, under the Save As type, you're going to choose that, and we're going to select Adobe Portable Document Format. Once you select that, you'll have the option to save as a 3D PDF. So we're going to check that. There's also another option for viewing the PDF after you save. So I'm going to leave that checked. And you give it the proper name. Then click Save. Then it will show your PDF. And this is pretty cool because you have the option to rotate this just like you would, let's say, in e-drawings. You would use your left mouse button, click, hold down, and drag so you can rotate your model around. You also have the option to zoom in and out using your scroll wheel. You have a toolbar up here that has some different icons on it. Say you want to pan, or zoom, you're using your left mouse button to do this by the way. You also have a 3D measurement tool. When you click on the 3D measurement tool, it gives you a message that while you're in the measurement tool, you can hold down the Alt key to rotate, hold down this Shift key to pan, hold down Alt plus shift to zoom and if you want to disable the snaps which are shown in the little toolbar up here you can do that just gonna click OK and you'll notice that it is snapping to geometry that you hover over so let's say you just wanted to uh, measure the length of one of these structural members you just highlight let's say an edge you just click the geometry, click once more time to place your dimension. And like I said, while you're in the dimension tool, if you need to rotate, just hold down the Alt key. And you can place another dimension. You also have an icon to toggle the model tree or your feature tree on. Click that and you can expand your um, feature tree here. It doesn't show it like it does in SolidWorks, but it shows you the parts that you use to make your assembly model. And these checkboxes here are for hiding and showing the parts. So you can hide and show whichever parts you like. You have several different options and tools to use in a 3D PDF, which would take a long time to go through. So I won't show you everything, but you can sign your uh, PDF. And once you do add like text, you can go to the comment section and it will show your comments. And you notice once you click out of it, your text disappears. But if you go to the comments section, it will show you your text. Like I said, you have several tools here to use, but it's a pretty cool tool to uh, just view your 3D model, be able to rotate it, zoom in and out. And a couple more things here. You have a, a model display. It's defaulted to solid outline, but you can change to, let's say, a wireframe or a hidden wireframe. It doesn't look quite as good as it does in SolidWorks, but they try. You have a lighting option. I think the default is headlamps. 
you can switch to some different lighting. You also have a section view tool, which is pretty cool. Click the button to toggle on the section. And if you want to change your section, we'll just click the arrow next to the toggle section. Click cross section properties, it gives you a dialog box where you can change the properties of the section. Say you want a section on a different alignment. You can click through the different axes. You can also flip the section. You have an offset where you can bring the section in and out wherever you like. You can tilt the section. So it's kind of similar to the section tool in SolidWorks. You can disable the cutting plane. You can add section caps. You can show transparency. I'm just going to uncheck enable cross section. You can also look at a perspective view. So there's many tools you can use with the 3D PDF. And I hope you liked the presentation. Again, my name is Zach Brown with Go Engineer. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.